Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to do things by the Spirit. I've just had a situation and I'm going through a situation that's quite difficult at the moment. And then I feel like people are trying to pressure me to do something about it. To do something about this way or do that or it's all my fault and this and that sort of thing. And the temptation is to do something about it in my own strength. And we know that the the scripture, it's in Zechariah uh, chapter 4 and verse 6. And it says, this is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel saying, not by might nor by power but by my spirit says the Lord it says similar things in Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 I'm pretty sure it is and it says thus says the Lord yeah verse 23 let not the wise man glory in his wisdom Neither let the mighty man glory in his might, and let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things do I delight, says the Lord. That's 23 and 24. It's not by... See, that's the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is... You know, this, the Holy Spirit is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Loving kindness, judgment and righteousness. It's by the Spirit of God, not by man's works. Because it will just backfire. And so that's my encouragement for you today. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, then you do need to. Because a lot of the things that we are having to deal with and battle with are not natural they're spiritual and there's spiritual forces of darkness behind them and in the natural there's no possible way we can fight them shift them or change them and so we God sometimes wants us to cry out in desperation to him until we get desperate enough and then he will move on our behalf but he wants to know we're real serious so if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. God bless you. Have a great day.